This tutorial talks about the ability to do a change request which it results in a student withdrawal. To do that we can click on students and we can click on change requests. What I'm going to do now is from the change request type option I can select a withdrawal and click new. Now again the first thing that this system will ask you to do is to find the learner. So we're going to use our sample learner Mickey Mouse and we're going to Mickey Mouse's record by clicking the little ellipsis. What we can see now is a list of Mickey's enrollments and a little bit of detail about Mickey's courses uh, that he's currently enrolled onto. If I want to wish to find out more detail I can click on these little hyperlinks and that will take me to open up a new tab and take me to Mickey's particular enrollment. So if we go back to the withdrawal so what I can do now is I can withdraw Mickey off individual courses or I can choose this bulk update which will withdraw Mickey off everything. So in this particular example I'm just going to withdraw him off this BTEC level 390 credit diploma. And I do that by clicking on the little cog icon and that now enables this row to be edited. So I can choose uh, a status so in the majority of cases you're going to pick withdrawn and I'm also going to pick a uh, actual end date. Now if we've got registers in the system, uh, which for most learners we will have, uh, this will be done automatically based on the last date of attendance. But in this case for Mickey we don't have him on a register so we have to select a last date of attendance. So I'm going to select uh, Friday. We then also have to fill in the remaining boxes of his reason for leaving. So pick the best uh, best option that's uh, that's just there. Perhaps he's uh, perhaps it's personal reasons. Uh, the withdrawal reason, which is automatically selected uh, if uh, if if uh, for certain actions that you pick in the with reason for leaving option, and just leave his grade blank. You can also indicate that he, he, we we wish him to be withdrawn from all of his exams as well. Finally, you can choose a progression route. So in this particular case, uh, it's it's other. Finally, we've got a local destination option just here. So if we're not sure of his destination in this particular case, we're going to select unknown. And we can also, again, put in any change request notes. We can also put in, uh, tag in additional staff to email. And we can also attach any attachments, for example, uh, any screenshots or images or, or other documents that we might want to attach to this particular withdrawal. Once I'm happy with that, I just click on the update button just here, just to close that particular record, and it shows it now as yellow. That's the record that I've edited. And I click submit. If I wish to withdraw the learner off all of the courses, I use this bulk update option, which brings up um, a, a little window, and I can choose the last date of attendance for all of his courses, and I can fill in the data for all of his courses, and click bulk update. And that will just then fill in the data for all of these columns and all of these rows. Click Submit, and that goes into the Change Request system just as usual. In the case of withdrawals, Change Requests will go to the Associate Principal before they come to MIS. That's it.